Hello everybody, uh, my name is uh, Pasquale Nestico. I am uh, a cardiologist and uh, clinical professor of uh, medicine and cardiology at uh, Thomas Jefferson Hospital in Philadelphia. Uh, I came from uh, a small town in Calabria, Italy, uh, named Isca Sullo Ionio. It is uh, situated in a beautiful, um, in a beautiful location, uh, exactly five minutes from the Ionic Sea. And uh, I basically spent my um, youth in the hometown, and uh, until I was 21 years old, when I came into America. By then. I had uh, spent four years of my life working as a bricklayer with my father, who was a master in what he was doing. And uh, after that, because I was crying and I was upset because I didn't like that kind of work, my, I convinced my father and my mother to send me back to school. and. Uh, from where I got a diploma. So with a diploma and without to speaking the English language is that I came into America at the age of 21 years old with uh, the rest of the family, my mother, my brother, and my younger sister. My father was already in America and before him, my sister Elvira, who married an American citizen, uh, came to America. So my father decided to come to the United States to, to get to the family together. So as any other immigrant, I came here with, uh, with the hopes to a better life and uh, after spending a year and a half learning what I could of the time of the uh, English language, I enrolled myself to um, University of Villanova. And um, at night time, I graduated as electric engineering in three and a half years, when usually takes eight years. While in the meantime, I was working with the Westinghouse Electrical Corporation first as a, a motor winding winder then as a designer and then a week after i graduated from villanova university they gave me a position of uh, electrical engineering i loved that uh, kind of work uh, but i had uh, another mission in life and that was to um to go into medical school but I didn't know that I could go into medical school from engineering because back in Italy, that was not possible until one of my friends at, Villa, at uh, Westinghouse Electrical Corporation say goodbye to me. And I said, where are you going? So I'm going to quit to Westinghouse because I was accepted into medical school. And that was it. I couldn't sleep anymore. And uh, I quit from the Walton Institute in uh, University of Pennsylvania, where I was accepted for my MBA to go back to Villanova and Drexel University to take pre-medical courses that I was missing. And finally, after three years of uh, pre-med, I was able to be accepted into uh, medical school. And on December 24th, 1976, I got the, the call of a, a lifetime. That was the most beautiful day of my life. So two days, three days later, um, three days before actually, I got married with my wife, Anna. And, uh, and therefore, September 1st, I began uh, medical school at Temple um, University, Temple Medical Schools. So there were four years of uh, hard work, 
In the meantime, my wife and I, we had uh, three beautiful children, Aurelio, Conchetta, and Saverio, while I was in medical school. I was able to graduate on top of my, on top of probably 5% of my class. I was uh, in, in, uh, enrolled in the Alpha Omega Alpha Honorary Society. I won several awards and uh, I uh, graduated with uh, a lot of happiness with my family as well. Then I went to um, Hahnemann University and hospital to do my residency and followed my fellowship in cardiology. I won, I won several awards for that. And, uh, and finally, I, uh, um, after I finished my cardiology training, I was able to open a beautiful office in South Philadelphia. I was uh, heavily involved in research to the point that uh, when I finished my cardiology fellowship, I had already 30 publications in the most respected medical and cardiology journals. Um, today, you're lucky if you have a one or two uh, publication. And because of that, I was given directly the position as assistant professor of medicine. And five years later, I became an associate professor. And five years later, I became a full professor. So by, I was 52 years of age, and normally it takes 30 years to, get, to, to reach that goal. I was able to open up a beautiful practice eventually in the South Philadelphia where I live and where I raised my family with my wife being a housewife. And um, we lived in uh, one apartment with one bedroom and eventually that uh, house became my first cardiology office. Therefore, after that, I moved to uh, where I am now, where I built a beautiful clinic of three floors. And my group is made of 90 cardiologists. And uh, today, my daughter works with me as a cardiologist. And that's the most uh, joy that a father could have when one of their children, of his children, follow the footsteps. So, I've been in practice now since 1985 as a cardiologist. And um, in my spare time, believe it or not, a busy cardiologist also has uh, some spare time. I devoted it to the uh, third sector. And uh, I started an organization which is called Feel Italia International. It was first Feel Italia, meaning love for Italy and uh, connection with Italy and um, funded by children from Italy, which eventually grew into a Filitalia National and now it's Filitalia International with uh, more than 20 chapters, both in USA and Italy and elsewhere. We have a beautiful center in the, the most prestigious location in South Philadelphia, we call the Little Italy. Uh, of uh, three stores plus the basement, which houses a beautiful museum. We call him History of Italian Immigration Museum. Phil Italian International, it has uh, become ente gestore, which means that we receive funding from the Italian government to distribute them to schools that teach the Italian language and culture. And, um, I am uh, thankful to God for what I was able to achieve and uh, always trying to follow a, as a cardiologist, to follow the proper diet, the proper exercise. And um, I was able to take care of my parents. My father lived to be 98 and my mother lived to be 96. And uh, I was their cardiologist. And uh, uh, I was able to write a book, it's called the Isca of Philadelphia, from Isca, which is my hometown to Philadelphia, which is uh, very well received. And uh, uh, we sell it for $16 and also through uh, Amazon. And uh, the uh, money collected will go to uh, Phil Italia Foundation. And 
So I finish by saying that uh, avere con noi nostro padre e nostra madre in età avanzata è come essere affiancati quotidianamente da maestri di vita. Which in English means having our elderly father or mother still with us is like being accompanied every day by true masters of living. And uh, I wanted to give another one more quotation and that is uh, from Aristotele. La grandezza non consiste nel ricevere onori ma nel meritarli. Greatness consists in deserving honors not in receiving them from Aristotle. I finally wanted to say that I was able to uh, to be honored by the Italian government first with the title of Cavaliere then with the title of Commendatore and now with the title of Grande Ufficiale. I love Italy as I love my mother and I love America as I love my father and I love both of them equally. Thank you. Se vedrò le luci di New York, da lontano ogni volta sentirò che sarà di nuovo casa mia, un cuore che batte forte, vola via.